What it do? It's your girl here. Miss Hawaii, baby. How y'all feeling? Friday night fever. Welcome to your collective reading for April 26th, 2024. I just want to say to y'all, these are collective readings. So it's not going to be, excuse me, as specific as if you're getting a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me. It's a collective, which means I tap into everybody that views the reading. So it's not going to resonate with you every single time. Okay. Um, maybe some of you it does, but not all of you, you know, and that's okay. It's a collective reading. Don't be upset. <laughs> Don't try to kill me and send me that, you know, evil comments because it's a collective. If you do want something more specific, you can watch your sun sign, your moon, or your rising, or you can purchase a personal reading by emailing MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com, okay? But otherwise, this is a collective, okay? So, thank you for listening. Oh, somebody's name is Marsha. Shout out to Marsha. What's up, girl? That came through strongly. Let me know in the comments if your name is Marsha. So let's see, uh, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. What's going on with the collective? Come on, give me something good, something juicy. I'm still upset with you. <laughs> Anger, jealousy, feeling entitled. Oh God. Uh, somebody's name is Ian Randolph. So this is somebody that's upset with you. Don't ever think I forgot our connection. Photographs, memories, and longing. Okay, so they're upset with you, but they didn't forget the connection. Please unblock me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Restrictions, fake accounts, wanting to talk. On the bottom, I can't stop thinking about you. Obsession, late night thoughts, and stalker. Okay. So some of y'all have this person blocked. <laughs> they would like you to unblock them. They're upset with you. They feel anger. But they keep thinking about you. <laughs> like nonstop. Don't look at me like that. I'm telling you what's here. Late night thoughts, so they can think about you a lot at night. You do have the stalker card, so I don't know. But this person would really like for you to unblock them if you have them blocked, or maybe you just haven't responded. It says fake accounts. They could be watching you from fake accounts, restrictions, wanting to talk. Tell me more, please, about this situation. Thank you, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Spark. Mm. Forgive. <laughs> Fear and friendship. This could be somebody that you had a really good friendship with, like on top of love, like y'all were actually really cool, like friends. Somebody could have like a pixie cut. Somebody's hair could be platinum blonde. They feel like a very strong spark with you. Sometimes this could mean good sex. Okay. They do want forgiveness from you. They do have the fear card. You got this person a little bit scared. Why did I just feel like something burned me? What the hell? The piece of sage just burned me? I don't know. That's weird when I was talking about fear. I don't know. You got this person a little bit scared of you. <laughs> They want you to unblock them if you block them. And they will never, ever forget your connection. They can look at photographs of you, memories, longing for you. Yeah, I want to start all over again is behind that. It says new beginnings, excitement, and relocation. Okay. Let's see what the tarot got. Ah, uh -uh. done happy. Friday night, baby. Friday. Friday night. Mm -hmm. 
Let us see. What's going on between you and this person collective? What's going on? Somebody's name is Kamisha. Kamal. Ryan. Brady. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh, this person think you being mean. Four of Wands in reverse. The Emperor could be an Aries. This person likes to be in control. I feel like you gave them no control. The Moon in reverse. Cancer Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. This person thinks you got a third party, whoever this is. They think you fucking with somebody else. The world, the two of swords in reverse. They think you made your mind up. That you don't want them no more. <laughs> Some of y'all like, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> they feel like they're not trying to put in no type of effort to try to bring this together. They feel like you're acting just like a stone cold bitch or a stone cold asshole. They don't think you're single. They think you're fucking with somebody. Like, let's see. What's this nine of pentacles in reverse? Some of y'all are. The Eight of Cups. You see, they think you've walked away from them, whoever this is. Yeah. <laughs> they think you've walked away from them. You're focused on living life, having fun. <laughs> you ain't worried about them. Why are they seeing you as the Queen of Swords? In my Sorry, my Amber Alert went off. And it just completely stops the recording. Some amber look went off, so hopefully they find that child. Um, two of Swords came out when I asked why they see you as the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Strength. Leo Energy. <laughs> they feel like you're just trying to block them out. Like They're trying to stay strong. Why is the Four of Wands in reverse? The King of Swords. The World, the Two of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all, this was a breakup. Like some type of breakup. Separation. Some of y'all could have met this person online. They could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Why is the Emperor here? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This person feels like they have to take control of the situation. They're trying to take control because they feel like you definitely won't. The Devil is in reverse. Capricorn energy. So again, they feel like they have no type of power over you, no control. Maybe at one point, some of you, they did. They want to try to gain control here. Why is the Moon in reverse? The Three of Swords. The Six of Cups in reverse. This person realizes how heartbroken they are. They could have like maybe not seen it right off the jump. With the Nine of Swords in reverse. They could have been acting like they didn't care. They were unaffected by this. But then it hit them like a ton of bricks. I literally just saw a ton of bricks falling on somebody's head. Somebody's name could be Eric or Roger. And it's like this person, it hit them like... How much pain they're in, six of cups in reverse, how they can't let you go, how they can't let go of the past. They could have had a dream about you, which triggered this. What's the eight of pentacles in reverse? The six of swords. Yeah, they feel like you are definitely moving on. You're not putting any effort towards this. You don't want to talk to them. Page of pentacles in reverse, six of swords, two of wands in reverse. Why the nine of wands in reverse? Cancer energy. King of Wands in reverse. You pissed them off. 
something could have happened for a few of you. This isn't for all of you. Something could have happened with family. Like, I don't know if you told their family something about them or you reached out to a family member about them or a family member could have, of theirs could have reached out to you and you told them something. I don't know. That's not for all of you. But something pissed them off. Something pissed them off. I think what really angered them for a lot of you is that you didn't, they wanted you to be stuck with the chariot in reverse. And it's like you weren't because you're over here with the three of cups, like the strength, like you're, you're doing your thing. What is this three of cups in reverse? Yeah, this person, Taurus and Capricorn energy here, they feel like, again, that you've detached. They feel like since you guys broke up or you separated that you out here in these streets. Is there anything else you need to know about this person? They really wanna make amends with you with that Five of Swords in reverse, the High Priestess. This person could be intuitive too. Three of Pentacles, they wanna rebuild with you. Cancer, Pisces energy here, and then you got the tower on the bottom. So losing you was like a big tower moment for this person. For some of you, like, they did it, like in the beginning, they didn't, I don't know, it didn't hit them right away. That's what I'm getting. And if it did, they just kind of like pushed it to the back because they didn't know how to handle it. They didn't know how to handle losing you. Some of you, they think you left them for a third party, like for someone else. Can you tell me more about this situation, please? Thank you, angels. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you. You got Scorpio energy here. ghosted mm. without notice no call no show disappeared no text worth the wait divine time and manifesting true love is coming sooner than you think some of y'all could be waiting on true love single if some of you guys are single beautiful curvy bold go-getter passionate enthusiasm courageous Somebody's name could be Chelsea, ready for love. No games, wants commitment, emotionally available, knows how to treat a man, knows how to treat a woman. This is a lot of your energy. Springtime popped out, which is now. Getting out, enjoying life, concerts, parties, gatherings, events. Some of y'all are really enjoying yourselves and this person is like mad. Club, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hanging out with friends, night out with friends, having fun, but I can't wait to see you. Like. Trust issues, needing time, needing some time, damaged, healing from a past relationship. So this is all about you. Some of y'all with club in springtime, some of y'all really enjoying your life, really having fun, getting out there. Doesn't mean you in a club. Some of y'all, maybe you are, but others of you, maybe you aren't. Murderer. Murderer. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, trust issues. I feel like this situation really allows you to develop trust issues. Chasing you. Doesn't want to leave you alone. They will keep trying. Some of y'all feel like your new love is going to be worth the wait. But some of y'all, you, you don't want nothing to do with this person with the ghosted card. I don't know exactly what happened between the two of you. A few of you, something could have happened with a third party, but that's not all of you. But I see a lot of you making your mind up that like, you're done with this situation. A lot of you are looking really good. And I see you enjoying your life. Like, I don't see you dad, dad. I don't see you sad and down and out about this. Like, I see you like, I feel good. I'm, you know, I'm handsome, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful. 
I'm gonna enjoy life. I got a lot of shit planned for the spring, for the summer. I'm gonna be out here enjoying life, traveling, partying, having fun, going to events, doing social events, living my life. I'm ready for love. Like, I feel like the last thing on your mind is this person. <laughs> and they know it, and that really bothers them. Let me just see some. How do you feel about whoever this is? What are your feelings towards whoever this person is? Page of Wands, ready for something new and exciting. Ten of Swords are immersed to full. <laughs> you see? Aries energy, you're ready for new. You're like, you're healed from this. You're making money with the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all can actually be Taurus, Virgos, Capricorns. Some of you could actually be talking to somebody new already. I feel like you're like over this, Ten of Swords in reverse. So you got the full, yeah, look at you. Look at you. The Nine of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords again in reverse. You like, fuck this person. Fuck this tiger. Two of Pentacles, some of y'all busy. You got shit going on in your life. You could even be talking to multiple people. Like, but this situation is not stressing you out anymore. You're not worried about this. The fool. You're taking a leap of faith. You're like, let's do this, baby. Nine of Pentacles popped out. You look great. This person tight. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you snooze, you lose. All right, let's go into the extended now. Hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share. Personal readings, email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Instagram and TikTok, Miss Hawaii Tarot. Follow me on there, please. I'm going to be doing a contest. Um, it's going to be, I'm going to definitely announce it on the next live, but basically, I'm going to, excuse me, do a raffle for a free personal reading, free full personal reading. But I'm only going to be doing it on Instagram. So, Basically, you have to go on my Instagram. You have to be following me, Miss Hawaii Tarot on Instagram. And you have to comment, hashtag, what do I want you to comment? Hashtag, hashtag Miss Hawaii. Yeah, hashtag Miss Hawaii. Miss Hawaii rocks. Hashtag Miss Hawaii rocks. You have to comment that under... Yeah, date popped out and spiritual awakening. You have to comment hashtag Miss Hawaii rocks underneath one of my posts on Instagram. And if you do that and you're following me on Instagram, I'm going to automatically enter you into a raffle. Okay. And I'll do it probably the end of May. So I'll give you some time. Look, party popped out. <laughs> a lot of y'all live in your life, man. Um... I'll probably do it at the end of the May. So at the end of May, the end of the May, the end of May. So like June 1st, I'll probably have the winner announced. So give you some time, about a month. So yeah, if you want to enter the raffle to try to get a free personal reading by me, you have to do it through Instagram. So make sure you have an Instagram account. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Tarot, and make sure you comment under one of my posts, Miss Hawaii Rocks. All right, you do that, we'll get you in the raffle and I'll go ahead, put all the names in a little bag, shake them up and I'll pull one out and whoever wins gets the free personal reading in June, okay? So make sure y'all check me out there. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Miss Hawaii Rocks, hashtag Miss Hawaii Rocks. That will enter you into the contest, okay? I can't wait, I'm excited. This is my first time doing any type of like contest, raffle, free giveaway. So I'm excited. I want to do something, give something back to y'all because y'all always support me and showing so much love. So hopefully y'all are fucking with this and we'll see a lot of those hashtags. We'll get those followers up as well on Instagram. All right. And um, shout out to all my members and all my Patreoners. If you want to join either one of those, check out the description box below. All right. We're going to go into the extended now and the extended, we're going to pull Oracle, we'll pull Tarot, we'll get you some advice. All right, we'll see what's happening between you and this person in the future, but we're not going to focus on this person, even though I know they're going to come out because they are 
the, the main feature here in this reading. I want to see more about what's happening in your love life in the future. But we'll also see, you know, this person is going to come out. So we'll see what the fuck is popping with them. All right. I love you guys. Have a blessed, fun weekend. Be safe. Be well. Stay prayed up. I'm always praying for you. I'm here if you need me. And um, you guys enjoy your weekend. I love you. I'll see you in the extended. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.